As of April 30th, 2023, there are currently 42 volcanoes which are actively erupting around the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is the famous Sakurajima volcano in Japan, which, for most but not all of the last seven decades, has been almost continuously erupting via intermittent volcanian explosions. These eruptions can throw bombs of lava and blocks of volcanic material up to a distance of 2 kilometers beyond its active crater, hence this marks the minimum exclusion zone while it is erupting. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In Washington state, the Mount Rainier volcano produced an increased number of earthquakes at fairly shallow depths. Meanwhile, in Italy, a change recently occurred at the Campi Fligri supervolcano as its uplift sequence resumed. And in what is this week's top story, an unusually strong earthquake storm occurred at the La Grande Soufri volcano in the Caribbean. The La Grande Soufri volcano is located on the island of Guadalupe and last erupted in 1977. After this eruption, activity would only begin to change at the volcano in 1992 as this marks the year when the volcano figuratively reactivated as a sustained increase in seismic activity occurred which was consistent with what, in my opinion, was the slow refilling of its at-depth magma chamber. This process has now been ongoing for 31 years and an eruption has not occurred during this time. Of course, some new fumaroles have appeared during this time, suggesting a steady change at depth. Yet, this complex has produced a series of earthquake storms consisting of more than 100 quakes about twice every three months for the past three years. One such earthquake storm began on April 21, 2023 at 9.50pm local time, and by April 24, when the storm ended, 746 very low magnitude earthquakes had occurred. This might sound like a lot, but ranks only third among 26 earthquake storms this volcano has produced since 2020. Thus, while this was a larger than average earthquake storm, it has stopped and an eruption at this volcano in my opinion does not appear likely anytime soon. In Italy, the Campi Flegre supervolcano is well known among geologists for not only producing a series of very large explosive eruptions in addition to more frequent smaller ones in the last 50,000 years, but also producing some of the highest amount of uplift and subsidence due to the movement of magma on the planet, with some areas in historical time rising or subsiding by as much as 30 meters or 98 feet in the long term. While Campi Flegri has been undergoing long-term magmatic uplift like many other volcanoes on the planet, the rate of uplift notably increased for the first time in several decades beginning in 2011, when its alert level was changed from green to yellow. Then, in 2021, the rate of uplift increased again to around 10 centimeters a year, then around the Pozzoli site. This uplift increased to 15 centimeters a year in 2022, but then in November of 2022, the uplift temporarily stopped and turned to minor subsidence. The news is that this subsidence once again turned to uplift beginning in January of 2023, resuming the 15 centimeters a year rate. While this might sound worrying, in my opinion, an eruption at Campi Flegri anytime soon is highly unlikely. A far more pronounced uplift of 60 centimeters a year occurred between 1982 and 1985, and that did not result in an eruption, so the same will likely be the case with the current situation. Mount Rainier within Washington state is considered to be one of the most potentially dangerous volcanoes in the United States. Glacier covered and 4,392 meters or 14,410 feet in height, this volcano could produce long-reaching and destructive lahars if it were to erupt again. It has not erupted since 1895 and luckily does not appear likely to erupt anytime soon. However, during April of 2023, the region underneath Mount Rainier has produced an above-average number of earthquakes, including seven earthquakes between April 23rd and April 27th, which were located at between 2 kilometers below sea level and 2.5 kilometers above sea level. However, these quakes were in my opinion not caused by the movement of magma, but rather released to the weather. During the winter of 2022 to 2023, the Pacific Northwest and California received far above normal levels of snowfall. Thus, when temperatures reached as high as 70 degrees Fahrenheit on the mountain, large amounts of glacial ice and snow melted. This then traveled down slope, occasionally permeating through faults, reducing the friction present, and allowing for shallow earthquakes to occur. Here is a quick list of all the world's volcanoes which are currently erupting. Additionally, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting as of the recording of this video on April 29th of 2023. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.